Welcome back to the rebirth. Right, this, oh, this is getting good. Um, today's actual um, content is twofold. There's trading and drones. And we're going to look at drones first. Now, the thing is, drones have always been something that I think have been quite complex in uh, X universe. And I think if you're familiar with Eve and things like that, drones in that are obviously very simple because you press a button and they kind of go and go off and kill things or do terrible things to people. And that's kind of the, um, the, the simplicity of it. Whereas in this, oh, they have got this bang on right. And you'll see what's going on. Now, again, this game is a slow burning game a lot of people i think are um are liking this series so i'm really pleased with that and i think a lot of people are also kind of interested if it's worth buying you know obviously there's been lots of issues um with the game on its launch there's a few bugs that um thankfully we've got through you'll see that towards the uh, the latter part of this video so we'll probably jump on that um but here you can see when you do your trading what you're finding is you're kind of having to do it face to face now i think there are probably interfaces either in the game currently or coming that will probably make it so that you can do remote trading um post in the comments if you're aware of this because i think at the moment certainly when i filmed this it would this seemed to be the only way to uh, to kind of get around but anyway what i'm trying to do here is actually just buy a drone now drones in this game are very different to i think um other games as we've mentioned and i think really one of the beauties of uh, of x has always been this kind of ability to try and do something a little bit different and hopefully when you see what we mean um, you'll get it. So in this case, I've had to actually go and buy a drone from this trader. This is, I think I bought a, what can it's called? An assassination drone, I think it was called. Um, so here we go. So now we've got our drone uh, loaded. Now we get to play with it. Now, this is something I really hope we see a lot more of. Um, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. This is um, how you activate your drone. So obviously we're docked at the moment. So uh, <laughs> the, uh, as you can see, she's yammering on. So here we go. You've got your ability menu and you see we've got a number of things we can do look what happens i pull my periscope down and oh my god i'm now controlling little mr drone so this little like thing that kind of buzzes around the ship is now pretty much a little mini ship for me to go and fight in now think of the mechanics of this and that yes it's got a gun it's not a great gun and this is probably not the best drone you can get but just think of the mechanics of this so that's literally my ship there as you can see i'm kind of flying around it um <laughs> obviously a bit of clipping to be aware of but <laughs> as you can see that's the that's the ship and so therefore you know i'm in there and i'm now controlling this through a mind link how awesome is this this is something i really loved it just i literally sat there and was like oh my god it's so cool because the reality of what this could be modded into is for example you have your marines your boarding marines you know you could fire a boarding torpedo into the side of a capital ship then you could literally pull your periscope down and take control or even just see what these marines see or whatever think how awesome that is going to be think about all the different types of drones that are out there you've got repair drones cargo drone, cargo drones etc but just think about you know you'll get eventually mini fighter drones quite powerful kind of long range drones you could park your ship way off in the distance get in one of these bad boys and then go and kill stuff and it doesn't matter if you die and there you go now that is awesome i'm, I'm hoping you're absolutely squeeing with joy over how awesome that's going to be and we we do use our drones later the ability menu does give you the ability just to kind of panic launch all drones you've got and defend the ship automatically so you can still run them on auto don't think that you've got to you know put time in to uh, to actually sit with the uh the things you can actually just say help me protect me and they'll actually run off and start shooting so on to part two now this is um this is a this is i should have sped this up i guess but i didn't really want to speed it up footage is always a bit risky because it can look a bit kind of benny hill-esque so i decided not to but um what we're doing here is we're kind of getting to grips with trading so trading in the other x games was pretty simple you would pretty much go and dock and sell your wares and then take off and then once you got the ability to do traders you could just set the traders to go and do stuff um on their own now i think this is still the same but again I've got a freighter. This this yeah, you know, this this capital ship as you see there is a freighter. Now there are really some quite nice features with this because what am I what I did there in that little exchange just a moment ago was get into um, the trader's face, if you like, and say, right, you're carrying nine thousand units of energy cells, go and sell them to the station and let's make some profit. Now it kind of tells you the profit you make as well, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, but in essence, this is this is really what the uh, the game is kind of bridging into is this, uh, I guess, you know, you're kind of going to empower others to do it. So this captain will learn routes, maybe they'll certainly, you know, they'll do what they're told effectively. So you could just say, go here, buy that, go there, sell it there. And that may, may then become a route that they'll then run. I don't know. But 
we'll, we'll see. But uh, certainly in this case, it was about having a... In this case, we're, this is part of the campaign, so we had to actually sell energy cells to this Plutarch mining station here. And um, you had to sell them 100, but I actually bought 9,000 by mistake. So, I, But I make a hell of a profit on it, so this is one of the good things. And just to kind of draw in here, the, the game is designed to be built around fleets. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing now. Once you get within the gravitational pull of a capital ship, it pulls you in and holds you there. And it's called the drag. There's a drag effect of all capital ships. That means if you just kind of sit next to them, you can dock in them and just do this. You can, you know, you literally, you could just sit in the docking bay and it will then move, you know, and, and take you with it, or you can sit behind it, above it, left, right, whatever. But in essence, this capital ship is on a mission to dock and, and sell energy cells to this thing. Now before, it just used to you know, go to a pylon and then it was done. Now, it's more realistic. Now, it doesn't mean it takes a bit longer, but I think realism is never anything to be kind of snubbed at. So as you can see there, that's the cargo hub that we're going to go to. And this freighter is probably a, you know, almost half the size of the asteroid. So therefore, this takes a bit of you know, kind of effort. As you can see, it's a huge thing. It reminds me of the black hole, that film, the black hole, this thing does. Anyway, long story. Uh, what we then find the freighter will do is it will actually start to then angle. And you can see now it's already starting to kind of align itself. Uh, here we go. So it stopped, and then here we go. It's starting to swing around. I mean, it's glorious. This is what X Games are all about. And I know that there's, there's been bugs. I know there's been issues. But to me, the majesty of this is wonderful. It's not like EVE where you just get within 15 km, press a button, and then you whatever. I hated that. This is really about aligning the two docking ports. The docking port on this freighter is in the middle. And you'll see what happens. Uh, I'll move the camera in just a moment. In fact, I'll start doing it now. And you will then see exactly what's happening. And you'll see even the cargo being picked up by lifters and moved back and forward. It is awesome. Now, you may be wondering why I'm laboring such a point. But I, I, I guess I look for X Games to give me this level of realism. And I think I was, I was massively not disappointed with this. Um, because I think this is something that so many games just just get wrong. So here we go. I've now moved the ship back. As you can see, that's my huge kind of capital ship freighter. And then we've got our docking port right there. Now, what I'm going to do is kind of, again, I'm still within the gravitational pull of this freighter. So it is moving me slightly as well still. Um, but as you can see, this thing's now starting to very nicely line up oh hang on oh yeah, careful <laughs> so there we go now i'm in the pull of it again so i um, you know it's all safe it's all pretty awesome and there we can go now you see the port on the right i am making such a big deal of this because this literally blew my mind when i saw it working so there we go we're in position the trade can begin and what we're selling now is nine thousand energy units and there they go look they're actually cargo and look they're sending lifters from the other side to pick up because we're selling a lot so the more that you sell the longer that loading and unloading takes this is exceptional. This is detail and content that I don't think any game has ever even come close to doing yet. So yes, I'm raising a massive flag for this game, but you know, oh, Eve could learn so much from this game. That is detail that people love to see. And look, they went in full, they're coming out empty. Isn't this glorious? I think this really is testament to you know how amazingly cool and good certain you know certainly the the design and the idea behind this goes and yes you don't have to use freighters for this but I, i'm getting the impression that you know we, you're given a freighter to begin with this is exactly how it works and all of this can be done remotely but i just wanted to film it and show you it because i think it just kind of blew my mind how um i guess good that was so there we go so then the deal's done lifters have gone and come back and then all the cargo has been done you get your money so therefore your the little trade mission is now complete i saved the game very quickly because obviously it crashes <laughs> a little bit much although it's not been too bad i must admit and at this point but part of the campaign was actually to sell uh, energy cells to this station so that i could then go and buy plasma weaponry and now plasma weaponry is something that um I get the impression is is uh, you know quite militaristic, so obviously they don't want you to buy it. So you had to do a little bit of a, a kind of mission for it. But again, I just think it's glorious. So here we go, climbing over the asteroid. We then have to look for the bar. Now we're kind of we're trying to find a, an engineer who's got these weapons on them that we can then buy. So there we go. That's our bar. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? This looks amazing. I'm still really you know blown away by how good the graphics are. Um, thankfully, you don't have to piss about with docking too much. I think that's probably one of the beauties of the game is that there isn't a lot of docking um, that needs to be done. So I'm quite pleased about that. 
So, cue a cutscene. Now this tells you about really what this station is. This station is actually quite important. Um, and as you, you can read the, the subtitles there. But again, I think the stylization is really nice. They really have done such a good job on you know the 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 kind of look and feel of the game and the campaign now is kind of working <laughs> it's certainly um, coming together quite well and I would suggest that you know if you if you are contemplating buying this game I think you know maybe maybe check out the next few videos and see what you think because I did this video a while back and I've only just done the voiceover for it and I would say I'm probably about another two hours into the game and it just goes incredibly more deep um, than you've seen so far so I think you know certainly I hope you like what you're seeing so far and I think um, this is going to be a game we're going to play an awful lot of so I'm hoping you're enjoying it <laughs> so with that in mind just a quick shout out squadb.com is live we're going to start writing a few kind of mini articles on X Rebirth now as we're doing videos on them so check out the website for some mini articles hope you enjoyed that see you next time